Hello, I'm Pastor Carrie Meadows Helmer, one of the pastors at St. Matthew's Lutheran Church. I am going to tell you the story of creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. On the first day, darkness and light became friends, and though different, were inseparable. Some were taught to fear the night, but this was not God's intent. Both were cherished and needed. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. God saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning. Day one. God's creative spirit blew over the waters. Inspiring awe and majesty. A whole week of making the world come to life, filling every corner with majestic matter to grace all with the love God has for the world. A dome was placed in the midst of the waters and called the sky, the heavens, to make space for the waters above and the waters below, both waters essential to God's unfolding plan. And God saw that it was good. There was evening and there was morning, day two. Now the earth started to green. Life sprouted from seeds. Plants and vegetation colored the land. Fruit trees blossomed to provide food for what God still had in mind. And God saw that it was good. There was evening and there was morning. Day three. In the sky, God made two great lights and the stars to give light to the earth. The lights would mark the passage of time, seasons, months, days, minutes. And God saw that it was good. There was evening and there was morning, day four. Now in the waters, God brought forth living creatures of every kind, fish and whales octopus, sharks, hammerhead and the great white, manta rays and dolphins. And in the sky, birds flew above the earth, eagles, hawks, piping plovers and herons, cardinals, chickadees and robins. God blessed them, and God saw that it was good. There was evening, and there was morning. Day five. God said, let there be living creatures of every kind. God made the wild animals. The zebras the lions, the moose, the elephants, the wolves, the hopping hares, the horses, 
and the elk. God made the cattle moo. And all that creeps upon the earth. reptiles and bugs, good for soil and plants. God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us create humankind in our image. All of creation is a gift. You'll be stewards of all that has been made. You will find life in what has been created the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the wild animals, the cattle, and even all that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in God's image. In the image of God, we are created. God blessed us and said to us, go and be nurturers of life. All of the plants and trees, and creatures, everything that has breath is in your care. Use it wisely and this good creation will nourish and sustain you. And it was so. God saw everything that had been created and indeed it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning. Day six. The heavens and the earth were now finished, and on the seventh day, God rested from all the work that had been done. And in the resting, all of what had been created could be fully appreciated. It was beyond imagination, beautiful, perfectly made, connected, whole, overflowing with life that gives life. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. This is how our faith narrative began and how life abundant continues. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. The story of creation reminds us that God's good creation is filled with diversity. 400,000 plant species, 1.4 million animal species, 11,000 bird species, and nearly 8 billion people in the world. No two people are the same, even in the same family. We have different shapes. Of bodies, different noses, different eye colors and hair colors and skin colors. We have different types of families too. And the beauty is all people are created in the image of God. It's clear God's message of love and belonging is for all of creation we are deeply connected. But the problem is sometimes we don't treat each other fairly. We haven't figured out how to live together as God wants us to. But there is hope. God shines bright in our world and in our lives, calling us to live as God intends, to nurture each other, to help each other, to share with each other, and to love one another as God has first loved us. This is how we as God's beloved shine bright. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify our Father in heaven. Amen. Peace. Bye.